morning, everybody. This is your favorite MS floor coordinator, Rick Brown. Remember, only you can help us keep our stormwater clean. And today, we're going to be talking about something kind of cool, really. When we talk about rain and you helping us, there's always questions about this or about that or rain or quantity or something like that. Guess what we have? We have rain gauges. Anytime a contractor gives me a a job to review and inspect and or approve. Um, when I go out to the job site my first time around, I usually give them a rain gauge. And it says MS4 on it, just like our logo. And the reason is because part of the things that the contractors have to do is keep a record of their rains in a, in a way of where if it goes over a certain minimum limit, they have to inspect the sites and be sure water's not running off and that type of thing. So there's been quite a few times over the years, contractor says, well, I don't keep a rain gauge. Well, I, I give them one for their job trailer or whatever so they can set outside. And, and now they don't have a reason that they don't know how much it rained. So that's why we have these beautiful rain gauges. And we have them here at our department. So. That's kind of why we do it, because of our limits on rain and over a certain amount of rain, you're supposed to inspect and et cetera, et cetera. So that's why we have that. As all of you know, you can take this little plastic piece out and pour the water out and you can put it back. Well, a rain gauge is just a simple tool that you can either amount or put in the ground. And it's got the numbers of inches, so it's just really simple after each rain. You can say, boy, we had a one inch rain an hour ago. As an example, you can get an accurate amount. Once we know how much rain, you can actually figure how much water is running off and that type of thing. But really, uh, quite honestly, you don't need a calculator to do it. I mean, maybe some people would. Maybe they do for their report. I don't necessarily ask for cubic feet of water. And do you know why for all of you folks that can help us with our um, storm water and keep it clean? Because I pull up on the site and my eyes are going to tell me where the water is running off at. And if we've had a lot, if we've had a little. But I do like the documentation and, and contractors are supposed to document uh, rainfalls. Well, and the reason that, that MS4 provides them, and some contractors have their own, is because once we know how much rain that we've had, and then we know the area of the hard surface, we can actually do a little multiplication, et cetera, et cetera. We could actually figure out how much cubic feet of rain has ran off of the project at a given location. Hard surfaces, water runs off of. When it hits grass and it hits with vegetation, it usually soaks in. But roofs, concrete, et cetera, et cetera, you know, your buildings, your hard surfaces, that's what we kind of, that's what we watch for because the hard surfaces is where the water's going to run off and depending on the slope, depending on the amount of rainfall, contractors are supposed to actually document it. I'm not necessarily a stickler on that because I usually know how much rain we get because we, as MS4, we actually get, the, the city has a, um, an, a, like an EPA approved gauge. So I know how much rain we've gotten. I can call them, I can ask them, and then I can go to the sites because I have seen rain gauges that, oh, they look good today. You go out there a week from now and they're knocked over, they're laying down or whatever. So, But rain gauges are really an excellent way of figuring out how much volume of water has run off a hard surface. Well, the first thing you want to do is um, when you're placing rain gauges somewhere to make it work, um, I wouldn't recommend it put, putting it under an eave <laughs> because rain isn't going to fall in that little glass hole. You put something over it. So you want to put them out into an open area where they're going, and that's why you can stick it in the ground or you can mount it, but mount it up in the air so there's nothing that's going to be obtrusive for the water to get down into the gauge. You know, really to do that, an open area is great, but basically the old rule of thumb is you don't put it under trees, you don't put it under your job trailer, you, you keep it out in open areas so you can get an accurate reading. I always like it when it's mounted on something in open air even if it's by the job trailer door on a separate post. But if you're going to stick it in the ground, you have to realize you're going to have traffic, you're going to walk traffic, maybe equipment. And I've seen them where they'll 
put a stake in the ground with a ribbon around the stake because they know that's where the rain gauge is, all kinds of things. But a little common sense is you want to put it in a place where it's not going to get destroyed and where it's going to measure accurately the amount of rain that has fallen. Not off of a roof, not any of that kind of stuff, but out in an open area or mounted up in the air openly so it will get the exact amount of rain that has fallen in this particular area. So here's some little fun facts about the rain effects. Large amounts of runoff can cause uh, stream erosion and could harm uh, you know, animals that are in the streams. Uh, natural prairies and forest lands, they really don't produce much runoff. So the streams there are usually, are, are usually healthier. Uh, why? Because the rain's not running off of hard surfaces, picking up pollutants and running into those streams. We have these at our office. Um, I give them to the contractors that we get plans for. Um, inner city especially. This is something contractors are supposed to do as part of what MS4 looks for. They keep records of their rainfall. I can check their records because I get it from the city rain gauge folks. And this is just one thing because, you know, uh, I don't want to say this in a negative manner, but it's nice to be accurate because sometimes these things do get kicked over. Sometimes they don't even have a gauge. So we have to kind of be smarter about it and try to help the contractors be smarter about it. There's been quite a few in my career that don't even have rain gauges. So that's why we had them made with our logo and stuff so I can give them one. Then they really don't have an excuse of, oh, well, I don't know how much it rained. Well, I do care how much it rains. So just a little fun fact that MS4 does that we've not really talked about before. So all of you remember only you can help us keep our stormwater clean and maybe you should also have a rain gauge at your house so have a great day